Have you ever asked yourself why this ATX main connector features so many pins and what they are there for? Well, that's quite easy to explain. These are different electricity and signal circuits which feed energy to the mainboard and its connected components. But still, why are there so many of them? Modern high watt power supply units feature several electricity lines which are called rails. Our straight power 11 for example takes care of the mainboard, the CPU and two different graphics cards with a separate 12 volt rail each, which is why this kind of power supply is called multi-rail. Aside from the 12 volt rails, these units feature several other power lines as well, which are called minor rails and are hardly ever mentioned as they only play a minor role these days. We are talking about 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 5 volt standby and minus 12 volt. In the days of your CPUs and graphics cards were fed their energy either through one 5 volt rail or a combination of 3.3 and 5 volt. Older PCI cards and optional drives also made use of these rails. These lines are kind of a window into the past as they were already utilized by ISA bus systems back in the 80s. Nowadays the 5 volt rail is the most important one as it powers the USB connectors, modern SSDs and hard drives, whereas the 3.3 volt rail takes care of the PCIe line between the slots and the CPU as well as the RAM banks. 5 volt standby is also important as it runs with a power consumption of about 0.5 watt when the PC is turned off so that it can receive the power on signal upon pushing that button. Which means that without the standby rail the PC wouldn't even boot. The minus 12 volt rail on the other hand is pretty much useless today but still it's being carried over from hardware generation to hardware generation like a rail shaped appendix. And if you take a closer look at the 24 pin plug you see a fascinating mixture of old and new as it not only shows the aforementioned minor rails like the one used for powering your PC but also several with 12 volt on them of which certain graphics cards tend to quench their additional power thirst of up to 80 watts. Now you can't just simply remove the minor rails for several reasons. The most important of which is the power supply design guide by Intel. For example this guideline has eliminated the minus 5 volt rail many years ago. And there is always rumors flaring up of Intel working on terminating the minor rails and forcing mainboard developers to utilize voltage transformers in order to create bespoke energy out of the 12 volt rail. Which comes at a price as that would require completely new power supply architecture and makes the mainboard much more expensive. In any case 12 volt rails are here to stay. Whatever the future may look like, it's plain to see that CPUs with ever increasing core numbers and GPUs with more and more functions outside the graphics calculations need stronger and stronger 12 volt rates. Which is why you should bet on timeless and resilient power supply units such as the Straight Power 11. And progress in this area takes time. Which makes this still an interesting witness to computer history.